Pam pam. Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline pilot. Today I'm gonna get you familiar with Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo accident that took place in Atlantic City of United States of America. I wonder why but just today I got the news about this accident. However it happened one week ago. So we are talking about the Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo 200. Uh, registration you don't need. The flight was from Atlantic City, New Jersey to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, there were 105 passengers on board, seven crew members, and it was the bird strike. Actually, the bird strike happened uh, during the takeoff roll for runway 31, and the crew decided uh, to make a reject takeoff at speeds about 60 knots. It's a low speed reject takeoff. Um, I'm the Boeing pilot, my friends. I'm not the Airbus pilot, so I don't know many things that may happen to Airbus, but we have high speed reject takeoff and low speed reject takeoff. Up to 80 knots, everything is low speed reject takeoff. Uh, it's interesting that this particular plane is equipped by Pratt & Whitney 1127G engines. So it's very similar to Leap 1 engines that we have also for Max. The same, almost the same goes for Airbus. So the airplane stopped safely and the crew requested for the fire trucks. They say, roll the trucks, please. And the fire bell was audible in the background of transmission. So today we're gonna go through the transmission that is available on VAS Aviation YouTube channel. I'll put the link under my channel. Why do we call it an accident? Because there were some of the people who received minor injuries as a result of evacuation. So there were three passengers and one crew member traveling as a passenger uh, who received those injuries. However, they are alive, everyone is alive except of the bird. The airline reported that the large bird entered one of the engines. Uh, so the crew braked, they rejected, took off, everything was done uh, good at that stage. However, there are several videos available on YouTube. Today I'm gonna show them to you and I will just discuss them with you. Let's go. Pum, pum. All right, uh, this is the vertical video. Uh, one of the passenger is filming what is happening outside uh, through the window. And now you can see the fire goes from the engine number two tailpipe. And let's just listen to it. What is happening then during the reject takeoff. As usual, in that situation, people start to panic. It's normal reaction. And what we can hear in the background, uh, the flight attendant tries to calm everyone down. Please remain seated, please remain seated. What should happen next? Uh, the situation is under control, so you can see the spoilers de being deployed, so the crew is totally, the flight crew is totally conscious. So they need to reject, they need to tell the flight attendants, uh, like flight attendants at stations or cabin crew at stations. That's the color we use in uh, our airline. So it means that the cabin crew should remain on the seat and um, verify what is happening inside the cabin compartment and what's happening outside. Then should check for the windows, for the fire that they have, the windows near to them. And they need to decide, okay, in case of evacuation, where should I evacuate the people on board? And that's, they are stopping now. So we're gonna probably hear something. I, I don't know. I haven't seen this video before So it's the first time for me So there they already stopped Yeah, everyone saw the fire on the right side and they start to panic. It's our normal human being reaction We are species then if we see something that is uh, life-threatening that we are then we are in life-threatening situation we have this kind of panic attacks because we don't think with our brain okay there is no fire inside the camping compartment we do not smell um, 
the smoke it's not smoking inside the fire is just there and uh, there is no situation that the wheel wing will just explode okay the wing is not it's not working like that so it should take lots of time for the engine actually for the fire actually to get to the fuel tanks then the fuel valves are closed and of course they've been closed then you pull the fire switch you can see the, the fuel spillage is even on the ground so it says that the Probably the fuel supply was not shut down at first. Uh, maybe they have no uh, immediate indication of the fire. I mean, the pilots. Maybe they don't didn't have immediate indication of the fire. They saw the bird. They check out the engine parameters. Probably they had the vibration, etc., and they reject the takeoff. And after a while, um, they might have uh, had the engine indication, engine fire indication. There are special fire detector loops installed inside the engine cowling so of course then the temperature will rise up uh, through the certain level you have this fire bell indication inside the cockpit and for Airbus it's most rewarding we do not have to get up please remain seated please remain seated please remain seated they're on their way <laughs> So flight attendants, they try to calm everyone down because uh, they know that the situation is under control. They need to wait for the pilot reaction uh, for the situation, for the call out from the pilots, start evacuation or continue normal operation. Of course, then you see fire, you it's time to evacuate, you think like that, right? But not always, because you still have uh, the fire extinguishing system on board of the airplane so I may use them at least once before the evacuation because it's always like go no go decision for pilots to start evacuation or not because during the evacuation the probability for the passengers to get the injuries maybe life-threatening injuries is quite high so it's up to the captain really to decide where the situation is okay to evacuate it's the evacuation is needed or the evacuation sh could be avoided of course nobody will risk passenger lives uh, in any case but in case of evacuation you need to prepare for it so first you need to follow through the special checklist because you need to set the parking brake you need to shut down the engines because you may not you can't start the evacuation with engines uh, working because uh, you have the people coming through the slides and the slides they are very near to the engines so you need to avoid that at first go to the special checklist we have special checklist for the Boeing 737 it's engine fire on a ground checklist then you go through the checklist first then you have this particular situation and uh, you use the fire extinguisher you can use the fire switch to eliminate the fire and if you still have the fire you start the evacuation and throughout the evacuation you again extinguish the other bottle to the engine cowling so yes uh, let's just see the video <laughs> yeah for me also if I would see this of course I will be scared as a passenger of course then <laughs> you see it in a copy you don't see this stuff you see just uh, red lights <laughs> in the front for master warning on the Airbus uh, but as a passenger of course I'll be a little bit ter terrified it's not uh, it's slowing down you see they uh, don't have this huge smoke right now but some of the fuel spilled uh, on the ground and continued to burn so what the, you can hear the sound of the engines being shut down so they are preparing for the evacuation so it's the engines that are being shut down 
that's it and really you can see that the flame goes down flame goes down because uh, they went through the checklist they used the fire switch which uh, <laughs> if you use the fire switch that shut down many things and the main thing is fuel walls so without the fuel there is no any fire there are at least two fire bottles on board of this airplane so yeah of course uh, now it's pretty much safe to evacuate but the fire goes down as you can see there's almost no fire but they started the evacuation they decided to start because still there is the fire uh, pilot stated evacuate evacuate the pilot we have the burn back into the right engine so it means that uh, probably have the fire on the right side right so we need to use on the left side for evacuation very interesting my friends to see it happening bum, bum. and here's the video that was filmed by other person from different perspective uh, this is more informative of what was happening inside the cabin compartment so first we saw what is happening outside uh, the engine the fire and here's what is happening inside how the passengers behave and I think this is very precious material to see because you can see how people behave in this stressful situation so they're stopping but they already stand up stood up right and they start to grab the bags um, they start to scream fire fire yeah of course you have many people on board with different behavior with different uh, psychometric parameters <laughs> with different mindsets and of course it's stressful and some of them they just grab the bags some of them they just start to scream fire fire of course my friends um, then you grab the bag you need to understand that probably you will help someone to die throughout the evacuation so do not do it uh, you may block the aisle of course you will slow down the evacuation so never ever do like this uh, bring uh, the small bag with you that you can carry under the armpit with all of your documents uh, your wallet etc but do not grab uh, your bag from overhead veins because yeah you may uh, block every everything you may block the roots there were several cases that it happened then it happened so why not just to lock those overhead beams throughout the flight well my friends uh, the industry says that uh, there were a couple of the experiments that the passengers were just staying uh, near to the overhead beams, still trying to open it and they were blocking the entire evacuation so it's better they say it's better to let them to take the back and continue run than to lock and block the entire evacuation my friends for now uh, safety says it's like like that uh, so I would probably probably agree but never 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 ever do like the several people down in this evacuation uh, leave your belongings and go go evacuate from the aircraft there's crazy fire yeah Yeah, it looks terrible, but not it's outside. You see inside that there is no any smoke. Yeah, I understand that some of the people they have the panic attack in that case. They're in a state of panic. Hey, guys, it stopped smoking. Everybody relax. It's not smoking, you. Yeah. Perfect. So the fire was extinguished inside the engine.
avoid the right hand edge and so the uh, cabin crew open just the exits on the left side I would suggest maybe for the cabin crew to say before, you know, leave your belongings just before they start to pull them out. Jump and slide. Jump and slide. Jump and slide. Come here, Bruce. Come here, Bruce. The gentleman. <laughs> it's the first time I see it, my friends. The first time. Wow, the, the fire tracks are already, already there, you see? They are very, very fast. Some of the belongings are on the runway. Oh! Help that lady! Help that lady! Get the dog! So, yeah. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Uh, probably she got minor injuries, uh, the lady. You see how easy it is to block the evacuation. So, yeah, you may have injured throughout the evacuation. You, you can have people just coming to you. And that situation, yeah, it's terrible. You can even lose your life. So for pilots, it's always a tough decision to start or not to start the evacuation. Here, yeah, we all see right now that the evacuation may not have been started, right? You have the fire tracks, the, there's no any fire, but on the first video, you see they start the evacuation, then it was fire under the engine. Uh, not inside the engine, but under. Probably they even got the fire indication inside the cockpit. So I think the decision to evacuate, evacuate the airplane was done correctly because still we saw in the video there was a fire then the captain called for the evacuation what i can see that the over wing exits were not used for evacuation i wonder why because obviously there were passengers who were sitting uh, near to those exits why they didn't open them i don't know maybe they were sure that they have time to go and proceed through the forward exits. Um, yeah, everything was done perfectly fine. Just uh, maybe the flight attendants should call if they see that the passengers are grabbing their bags, they may call, leave your belongings, don't do it, and stand by for evacuation, just before evacuation. You know, they start to call them, they already have those bags with them. And uh, yeah, probably that's one thing that I want to say for the crew. The rest is done absolutely, I would say, fantastic. And here are some of the pictures from Aviation Herald website. I would highly recommend to you to visit it. I'll put it down to the link under this video. And yeah, as you can see from, let's say, tower perspective, uh, from the spotter perspective, you can see that probably their airplane will burn down. It will burn down, but really, nothing really serious happened to the wing as you can see there was a fire for a very long time and the wing um, it didn't catch the fire so really was totally safe situation for everyone even though it looks incredibly bad and uh, here's the engine and uh, inside the engine call you can see the fan uh, the fan produces most of the thrust uh, for the jet engines turbofan engines let's say and the bird hit so hard that uh, the one blade, the fan blade, actually separated. As you can see, the blade is uh, made of composite material. So on CFM 56-7 Bravo that we have on Boeing 737NG, and uh, quite similar engine is installed on older modification of uh, standard Airbus A320, not Neo. Uh, the fan blades are made of Titan, right? Out of Titan. Here, uh, they are made of cal composite materials. They are, uh, from what I know, they are hollow inside. It's very, very hard job to make to make this kind of uh, fan blades. And as you can see, if you have the 
burst strike or severe impact with some objects uh, the blade just got separated it's not banded uh, it's just separated separates it looks like a plastic or something all right it's not looks like a fan blade anymore so it's totally you can see this uh, part is ruptured here here's probably the part of fan and yeah wow several fan blades are cracked and totally unserviceable for, for titanium fan blades uh, if you have them banded you can still repair them there's some sort of the jobs for the maintenance jobs you can send them to the factory they can uh, repair them you can polish them back if you have tiny dots or scratches on them uh, with the composite materials with those fan blades you cannot do this kind of repairs and you can see that if they're fractured you can just uh, throw them away then you need to buy the new fan blades of course in this case i think you need to buy uh, the new engine interesting let's see the atc communication for this particular flight pum pum my friends, Vas Aviation is the best channel out there on YouTube to check out the ATC communication in non-standard situation. So of course I'll put the link in the video description below. You may check it out. Let's listen. So real aviation communications. Indeed it it is real. They all real. Good, 3044, Atlantic City, Tower, runway 316, take off, maintain 7,000. 317, take off, maintain 7,000, Atlantic City, 3044. So they got the clearance for takeoff, okay, now we have the description of the situation. ATC, we've had a bird strike in the right engine, come to a stop on the runway. 3044, Roger. Stop it in the runway. Air 3044, you need any, any assistance? Send the trucks, please. Send the trucks, please. And you heard that they they don't have they don't have the firebell still. Then they stop the plane, and probably after a while um, they had it because we can clearly see it afterwards. 3044, there appears to be fire uh, under the right engine. So the ATC told that they have fire. It appears that you have the fire under right engine. And now listen to this carefully. Uh, right, we we got that, and they have fireball, uh, the master warning on Airbus. All right, we, uh, all right, we got that. Uh, that's that's the continuous repetitive chime stands for also for a fire. Okay. coming. They ask for the tracks. They didn't call for, like maybe, 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 stopping the runway, starting the evacuation, kept fire. Uh, tower, we are evacuating. Yeah, but they say after it. Still, it is understood without this uh, maybe, maybe, maybe call. They understood that they need to send the tracks, the fire tracks. So of course the fire tracks they fire tracks they also have the radio communications the transmitters the receivers as uh, we have on airplanes so they need to um, get the same clearance to close the runway because uh, at the same time there might be some other traffic for arrival departure so it's the, of course the safety measure. My friends, uh, what I want to say, very interesting accident, we now have uh, these uh, devices everywhere uh, to film everything, so we'll have lots of data um, during these uh, accidents, incidents that may happen on board. Of course, the probability of those is very low, but sometimes it may happen because there are millions and millions of flights around so so no worries my friends the aviation transport is still the safest way of transportation uh, i'm sure about it my friends and uh, there are many birds uh, flying around and of course there are many many bird strikes but uh, just few of them may lead to this kind of uh, circumstances uh, just uh, around one month ago i had also the bird strike inside the engine it was after the landing that we used reverse thrust so that 
bird actually hit the N2 rotor, uh, the most vulnerable part, N2 spool. And actually the bird was kind of small, kind of small. There was no any damage to the engine. The engine was inspected from inside. They used a special tool for biroscopic uh, to inspect their blades, etc. So the engine was okay with that small bird. However, you can see the modern type of the engine with composite, made out of composite materials. If you hit the huge bird, it can bring to this kind of uh, circumstances but also I think those circumstances are really really uh, rare my friends so I hope you enjoyed this video because you are awesome and just follow the awesome guy checklist as usual first just like this video after that subscribe to my channel finally ring the bell whatever it means thank you very much for watching this channel for watching this video and have a great time Pam, pam.